Hey guys, welcome back towards Diki Sensei here on YouTube. I'll continue another more gets as you guys seen it yet again actually. Still doing Adam Wake, the remastered version actually. This is the third episode now. If you guys have not seen any of my previous videos, please go back and make sure that you do and enjoy guys, okay? Love you. Love you, love you, sorry, love you. Uh did I open it? I am not sure actually. I did, I did. Okay, fine. Um, actually, sorry, give me one sec, give me one sec, give me one sec. I'm so sorry, these headphones are brand new. And that was like very loud for me, that was so much. Okay, no, I... Oh no. Rosie. I know, I know, but there are going to be Takens coming. And I kind of need to deal them, so to speak. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Thank you. Okay, now, yeah, I thought so. So, I may speak in though, you want me as well, don't you? Because I'm a, if you can believe it actually, I am a screen player as well. I'm in the middle of processing of like, um, I do have a gig lined up with my chewer because um, he he's asked me to bring everything in and he wants to hear me out for one of my storylines. like a million times actually let me switch to my other gun got you oh, shoot. there we go thank you stucky's body thank vanished, you leaving behind only a lifetime of nightmares to come assuming i'd reached the lights of the gas station alive hmm. that's a massive if you do know that Thank you, dear laptop. Thank you, dear laptop. On oh, me laptop, it just says to me that I've got I've got an achievement as well. So yeah, thank you. Love you. Love you. Um, honestly though, guys. Um, oh, coffee. Yes, please. Okay, I'm hoping everything is going a okay. Just for you guys. Also, gotta keep uh, an, an eye out for any more manuscripts. Okay. Um. What was I going to say? I was going to say something and now it's gone out of my head completely. It's gone out of my head completely. It has so much. Sorry, my bad. It's literally gone out of my head. Thank you. So it, it's just bringing back so many memories. It's just bringing back so many memories. I recognized the parade float I had seen in Bright Falls when I first arrived with Alice. Okay. No, honestly though, um, I love, love, love camping. After the insanity I had just experienced in the darkness, the lights of the gas station felt comforting. At least for a moment, the sane world reasserted itself. Stucky spat on the garage floor and tried to shake the cobwebs from his head. Ever since the couple never showed to pick up the keys, things had been fuzzy. Something, a feeling caught his attention. Stucky looked up and stared as his brain tried in vain to process the horror before him. He stumbled back, knocking over a can of oil. A black pool spread across the floor while he struggled for a brief moment, then let go as the unrelenting darkness engulfed him. And awesome me me metaphors, I'm going to say, at least, actually. <laughs> the deer fest had been two weeks away when we arrived. If the day count on the banner was right, I was missing a whole week between the night we got here and now. And it's the 68th anniversary. Okay. So, metaphors, w was that the correct term? I had to get was inside I the looking gas station for? to find a phone to call for help. 
Yeah, hang on, hang on, hang on. Um, I know for a fact that they, they will come... Because uh, I've done this before. They will come after you. I just want to see if there's any more manuscript pages. Got another, another coffee. Yeah, told you. Damn it. Okay, that was my fault. I had somebody running running up behind me and I was like I was like, hang on, what the heck was that? Okay, cool, got the coffee, I've got the coffee. Um oh, honestly though, if I go really really quiet, please forgive me. Because like a lot of a lot of emotion things are coming back to my mind. Man. Hang on, stay here for a minute, stay here for one minute. Yeah, 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 I know, I know, I know. I know. Sorry guys. Sorry. Because I want to have a look what's over this side. Because I am still looking for another manuscript page. I am. So, bear with Sensei just for two minutes, please. Okay? I love ya. Yeah, so if I go really, really quiet, please forgive me. Um, This game brings back so many emotions and memories for me. Because in 2010, uh, that's when I actually played this game. And, and you guys... I, I didn't... I didn't come to YouTube until, um, when did I come to YouTube? I think it was in, um, 2013, I think it was. I think it was in 2013, so next year, shit man, next year's gonna be like 10 years anniversary. Sorry about the language, and you missed, you nitwit. No, 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 no manuscript. Nothing that I can see of actually there, Sensei. What's, what's down? Nah. Can we just hope and get the heck out of here, please? Because honestly, though, um, not sure about you guys, but yeah, I'm not gonna sleep after this. Yeah, I'm not gonna sleep tonight. Better break out Disney for this, actually. <laughs> yeah. Oh, speaking of Disney, actually, um, me and my siblings are off to Disneyland Florida in March. And if you guys would like to tag along, uh, there is a vlogging channel I do have. And I'm just going to be honest with you guys. I am a little bit stressed out. I am a little bit stressed out because it's coming up to 10 years here upon YouTube. And... Um, I would really much appreciate it if you guys could please help me out with, with the channel, such as in liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing to the channel, please. Okay? Love you guys. Love you. The garage was a mess. It looked like someone had trashed the place, or that there'd been some kind of fight. All right. I'll keep writing. Outside, there's only darkness. Outside the cabin, outside the story, there's only darkness. I can feel her presence in the dark. Just now, I could smell her perfume in the room. I'll reach her, I'll fix it up. I'll bring her back. The story will come true. If I stop, she's lost. I don't believe this. It'd been me on the TV, talking crazy. Was I losing my mind? I doubt it. I doubt we highly that out. I really highly doubt it. Okay. Uh, the 68th um, uh, annual Deer Fest, uh, so 15 of September to the 18 of September, games activities uh, are clearly for children and don't miss out on, on the legendary Deer Fest parade. Okay, cool. Okay, fine. Okay, fine. Okay, fine. Well, seeing that you are in in the um. Just call the police. Right ball sheriff station. Oh, 
Thank God, Sheriff. Sheriff Sarah Breaker, you are... I'm Alan Wake. But listen, I was in a car crash. My wife, Alice, she's missing. Calm down, Mr. Wake. We were staying in a cabin on the island, on Cauldron Lake. There's no island on Cauldron Lake. Not since the big eruption in the 70s. Please, I can take you there, okay? You look like you've taken a pretty bad knock to the head. Are you okay? Listen... We'll figure this out. Please get in the car. We'll swing by the lake, and then we'll go to the station, okay? Mr. Wake, have you seen Stucky, the guy who owns this place? I realized I couldn't tell her what had happened in the forest. She wouldn't have believed me. And then she wouldn't have helped me with Alice. Previously on Alan Wake, I came to Bright Falls with my wife, Alice. Thank you for coming here with me. I thought maybe you could write here. I don't want to hear it! God damn it, Alice! Now, she's missing. Alice? <laughs> Alice? I woke up behind the wheel of a crashed car. I'm missing a week. I was attacked by shadowy men straight from a nightmare. The sheriff took me to the lake Alice and I had stayed at. But the cabin had disappeared. Episode 2 taken. And now you know why how much I love this game. Three years ago. Honey, I'm home. Worst weather I've ever seen. You should put some coffee on. It'll warm you up. Hey, handsome. This is gonna be a long night, but these shots are turning out great. I guess you're gonna need that coffee then. I'll go put it on. Um, yeah, so the first time when I played this, actually, I had no idea that the people of uh, Remedy Entertainment were responsible for Max Payne, but there were similarities. There was very, very much similarities. And actually, I am a really big fan, and they've ordered a TV, but they haven't set the TV up just yet. Okay, okay, which is fine, which is fine. Coffee's on. Great, thanks. I'll need it if I'm gonna finish this by tomorrow. Okay. Oh, I didn't notice this. No, you, you can't zoom in. Oh, damn it. I wish I could zoom in just to read that, actually, so to speak. Oh, hey, I just finished those cover mock-ups. They're on your desk. Tell me what you think. No kidding. I didn't think you'd get them done this quickly. On occasion, I can perform all sorts of miracles, my dear. Oh, really? Well, you seem to think so last night. <laughs> okay, kiddo. Okay, kiddo. Come on, let's go to my office. So, um, there's one thing I am truly am obsessed about, and... That is with um, Easter eggs, okay? And th there's something here that, that doesn't make quite sense to me. And I would like it if you guys could fill in the blanks in the comments below. And I will show you guys that in a minute. One sec. These look really good. Oh, sure, until Barry gets his hands on them. Which, by the way, will happen over my dead body. The last time was the last time. Oh, and speaking of Barry, he called. <gasps> Alan! Alan, please check the fuse box. I'm right here. I'm on it, honey. Please hurry! No, we'll do sweet, we'll do sweet. One sec, one sec, please. It's true what they say about the fall and the sudden stop at the end. I'd lain here in the snow while the lurid chain of scenes that had led me here kept playing in my head. A rerun of my own private snuff movie. A memory of my corpse. Alone at my own wake. 
thinking in metaphors again. The femme fatale was gone. Only a sour taste remained of the kiss that killed me. One sec. Let me go to this one. This was a late goodbye. Thirteen years after I'd gotten my revenge, it had finally caught up with me. It had been a long time to bear the pain. My blood painted the snow red. A gruesome slushy dissolved all the scattered painkillers and leisurely dripped down to the sewer mingling with the bile of the city, becoming one with it. I can see them now, my wife and my baby. Honey, I'm... Okay. Uh, apologies. Okay, apologies. Okay, this is my theory. Now, many of us have heard of the multi-universe. This one in particular, I actually do think that there is another multiverse with the um, Max Payne games. And I'm going to be honest with you guys. The first time when I played this, okay, this in particular page kept playing in my head. Because A Late Goodbye is actually done by a band called Poets of the Fall. The Late Goodbye of Max Payne. Um, the Fall of Max Payne 2. That was the feed track. And then the second one was that when he said, though, um, the painkillers. I was like, painkillers? I was like, surely that must be another reference to Max Payne. I did my research, and apparently I was correct. Yes, this was actually Max Payne's drawback story. So, um, love you, Remedy. Love you, love you guys. Love you. Love you. Love you. Love you. Um, also, take a look at this. Now, I... Many of you guys out there, do you know, I suffer with dyslexic, okay? So if you turn your head sideways, turn your head side, sideways, because believe me, okay, I'm turning my head sideways as well. Like but I... <laughs> Sorry, Jana, one second, one second. I can see something, you know what wake is? I, may, I, I can make out A, M, X, Max. Okay, coming, 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 coming. Coming, sorry. And also, one more thing as well, actually. He said here that he's never used a gun. So, what the heck is this? Actually, hang on. Let me see if I make this brighter for you guys. Sorry, one second, one second. Um, uh, sorry, guys, one sec. No, 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 no. Um... Where is the... What does that mean? Oh, no, no, no. I don't need that. No, no. Sorry, guys. Sorry. I'm so sorry. Please bear me for two minutes. Because I seem to be a little of a blindo git. Okay, I think... Alan, please there you go, guys. Check the fuse box. It's in the hallway. And we'll... And welcome back, guys. Okay, sorry for that. But this is something I don't quite really understand. If you have never used a gun before, where did those two gun trophies come from? And also, I have no such. If you have a scanner, you can scan that and it releases something for you. Okay, okay. I'm coming, sweetie. I'm right here, baby. I'm fine, I'm fine. Just get the lights back on now, thing. please. Okay, here you Honey, go. it's a power here outage. Go. I've got the flashlight. Sorry, guys. So sorry. Hi. Hey. You okay? You okay? I'm sorry. I just... It just really spooked me. Don't worry. We'll just break out the candles. I know it's stupid, but it's just... Especially when I'm not prepared for it, you know? It gets to me. I love you. Tell me a story, Ryder. Okay. <clears throat> I used to have these nightmares when I was a kid. The dark really spooked me, too. When it got really bad, my mom gave me this old light switch. She called it the clicker. The clicker, huh? Yeah. If I ever got scared of the dark, I could just flip the switch and a magic light would scare the monsters away. Oh, sure. Here it is. Alan. Maybe it'll help <laughs> you, too. Yeah, nice story, writer boy. You made that up right now, didn't you? No, no. <laughs> Seriously. I love you, even if you are a liar. Thanks for this. Hmm. 
How do you feel, Mr. Wake? Any nausea, disorientation, anything like that? Mr. Wake, how are you feeling? I'm okay. My head's fine. I had to lie about my headache and memory loss. He'd send me to a hospital for tests. I couldn't leave without Alice. Hmm, very well. Um, I don't think you have a concussion, but you've obviously been through quite a shock. You should take it easy for a couple of days. Thanks. Well then, Mr. Wake, we're done here. If the pain gets any worse or you experience any other symptoms, you should come see me. I'll let you get on with it then. Sarah, uh, Sheriff Breaker, is waiting for you. She's very good at her job. I'm sure she can locate your wife in no time. Doc Nelson was the image of a small town doctor. Sheriff Breaker had called him to the station to take a look at the cut in my head. Okay, thanks, Doc. Thanks. Oh, wow. That's a beautiful fish. I'm sorry you had to cut your morning fishing short for this, Doc. Oh, she's a beauty, ain't she? Not the biggest I ever caught, if you can believe that coming from an old fisherman like me. But she's right up there. Now, she's a largemouth bass, which is what you're after if you prefer a lure. Now, if you want either trout or salmon, on the other hand, then it's fly fishing for you. Um, you a fishing man, Mr. Wake? Oh, doesn't really matter, I suppose. But it can be very relaxing out there. You can't get me off the water this time of year. Closest thing to heaven. I'll take your word for it, Doc. No, no, definitely same here. Because, you know, I've already had, like, cod and salmon. Um, lobster. Oh, man, seriously, seafood. Yes, please. I believe you'll Dude, it's... It... Um, just go Thanks. Down the corner. Mm -hmm. Dude, it's quarter past ten uh, at night. We can't order food. Seriously, I'm quite tempted to order food for McDonald's. Thank you for testing the lights, Miss Weaver. Everything seems to be fine. I don't have the luxury of being complacent, Deputy Grant. The bulbs will need changing soon. You can't change them in the dark. I'll be sure to take care of it, Miss Weaver. Have a nice day now. Very good. I'll come back later on to remind you, just in case. Okay. Thanks. Mr. Wake, the sheriff is waiting for you in her office down the corridor. That was Cynthia Weaver. I guess you can call her the town eccentric. She used to be the editor of the local newspaper, but she's focused on um, oh, other things these days. She'd fit right in where I come from. As you can see, she's a little obsessed with maintaining the light bulbs of the whole town, refuses to step on shadows, things like that. Back in her day, she wrote about all sorts of weird things in the paper. Bright Falls has a colorful history. Of course, what small town hasn't? Yeah, I wonder, actually, ish, kind of. Including, I have played this game, like, before. Just saying. Ooh, coffee. One sec. Yeah, it's uh, Mulligan here. I'm at Stucky's gas station with Thornton. There's no sign of him. Over. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, this is Thornton. Look, we've located the parade float. It's here. That's some good news, right? Stucky was supposed to be driving it at the rehearsal today. Over. Oh, give me that. Mulligan here. Looks like someone really thrashed the garage. Over. Okay, roger that, guys. Keep looking for Stucky. Chains out. Okay, so basically he did go missing then. But maybe it was not our imagination after all. Because imagination is what we all work with. And coffee. <laughs> Definitely coffee as well. Definitely coffee as well, actually, so to speak. Alice looked through the viewfinder, lining up the shot. Cauldron Lake was breathtaking. Something caught her eye. A figure standing in the shadows behind the cabin, like a thin woman in a black dress. She lowered the camera and looked again. No one there. Just a collection of bushes that looked vaguely human-shaped. She shook her head and laughed. Actually, um, apart from doing YouTube um, 
filmmaking, producing, screenplay. I am also a really big fan of Ghost Investigation. I am I'm a, I'm a really, really, really big fan. Um, the reason why I haven't got into it just yet is because I'm very superstitious, I am. And I don't want nothing attaching itself and coming home with me. And next minute I know my, my home is getting terrorized by an entity and I don't know I don't know I would really love to do that as like my third channel but I am severely am superstitious and I I do get scared very very easily but um the reason why I mentioned this was because as she lowered the camera and looked again no one was there would say no one was there just a collecting of bushes that looked vague uh, humanly shaped she um she shook her head and laughed like the camera view like I, I do believe actually i do believe though if you do work with cameras or with filming equipment that yes in the past that actually ghost investigation or or investigationers have captured um entities or or uh spirits on camera or upon film and i'm a little bit scaredy cat that makes any sense to you guys so yeah moving onwards love you yeah, moving onwards, moving onwards, moving onwards, moving onwards. I I scare Can't myself, okay? Office, Mr. Wake. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, so I, I just I just scare myself. Aw. Missing kitty. I don't want the pussycat. And apparently even more people have gone missing. Richard, Bruce and Jacob. Sorry guys, one second. So sorry. Oh, also, another quick um thing as well. If you guys are not following me upon TikTok, please make sure that you guys do. And, you know, just enjoy whatever I, I post on there, okay? Love ya. Um... <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. It, it's my baby sister. She's just saying that that um she's going to sleep and she'll text me in the morning. Okay, thanks. See ya. Sorry guys, one second please. I am all yours. So yeah, so to be honest though, I'm a little bit scared. I'm I'm a little bit scared when it comes to ghost investigations because honestly though, I don't want nothing attaching itself to me and does that make any sense? Let me know in the comments below. Come in, Love Mr. You. Wake. Your phone's on the desk. The battery was dead. It's charged now. Thank you. Have you started looking for my wife yet? My men are already on it. Now, can you tell me what happened? I'm not sure. I can't remember. We were arguing. I walked out of the cabin. The cabin on Cauldron Lake? How did you end up at Stucky's gas station? I wanted to tell her what had happened last night, but I couldn't. She'd lock me up. Excuse me. I need to take this. Hello? Alice? Stop talking to the law. You'll do exactly what I say if you ever want to see your wife again. Who is this? Go to the back lot. There's a hole in the fence on the left. Look inside the junker. I left a little something there to convince you we're all on the same page here. After you ditch the cops, you're gonna meet me in Elderwood National Park. There's a spot called Lover's Peak. Midnight. Don't do nothing stupid, pal. We're watching you. Okay. So she's been kidnapped. I, I, if I sound witty really sarcastic, it's because I already know what the storyline is. Okay, love ya. I need some fresh air. Can I go out in the back, maybe? Of course, Mr. Wake. I understand. You can get there through the cells. Deputy Grant can show you the way. I'm sorry. All of this, it's just a lot to take in. Take your time, Mr. Wake. I understand. Can I ask you what the call was about, Mr. Wake? It's personal. Well, we are looking for your wife, and I'm going to need your cooperation if I'm going to help you. I need a moment, after I get some fresh air. Okay, you can find me here. We'll talk when you feel up to it. Okay then, thank you so much, uh, Sheriff. Okay then, guys, and I'm a really am sorry though, but this is where we're gonna pause the game here because um, it's a 30 minutes episode. So yeah, coming back to this game, I played this like 10 years ago, and I cannot believe next year it will probably be my 10th anniversary being here upon YouTube. Like seriously, man, where has the time gone? Seriously, can we just go back to 2010, please? Seriously, I would like to go back then and um. 
relive it all over again. Um, on, on TikTok, have you been hearing this audio? They were saying, yeah, um, you have two choices. Uh, if you have red pill, you get it. I think it's like a red pill. You go back to your 10, 10 years old self, but with all the all the knowledge that you know now. Or do you do you take the blue pill and skip 50 years forward with 50 million dollars in the bank? For me, I would take the red pill and go back because honestly, though, I could stand to see old friends and my grandfather once again and just like relive the whole year again. Because when I mentioned that, can we just go back to 2010? That audio automatically jumped in my head, okay? And also as well, if you guys did not know actually, apart from gaming, yes, I am a screen player. And also, I am a ghost investigationer as well. But the reason why I've not done that much ghost investigationer is because I am very superstitious. I do believe in entities, into spirits. And one thing I hate the most is like, if they attach themselves to you and you come home and they even start you know messing with your stuff at home and seriously i have seen things in my life that scared the shit out of me and i'm not even joking guys okay i have seen stuff okay i have seen stuff and i love to do it but i just don't want nothing attaching itself to me okay so that's the reason why and coming back to screenplay actually ever since i was about 15 i love to tell stories and one of my tutors at, at my university, he said to me though, bring in your papers, bring in everything. I want to hear what you have to offer. And if I like it, I'll buy it from you. Or what I could do, I could take you on as apprentice and I can actually help you to get, get your foot into, um, into storytelling. So that would be something quite awesome to see. And also in March as well, guys, we are off to Disneyland, Florida as well. So if you guys want to tag along, please look at the link box below, you guys. I have left my vlogging channel there so make sure that you do subscribe and also subscribe to this channel as well come with me and we'll have an awesome time okay till next time you love war kids probably catch you guys on the next episode then okay so take care bye guys thanks for watching love kids see ya bye